Good morning again from Vienna. Wow, fourth day in a row. Do you actually like those videos? Because I don't know because uh, since I started four days ago doing them, the first video is still not up on YouTube. So I don't know, can you tell me in the comments if you like them or not, if you want me to continue. So now I'm gonna try to do a, a, a few museum in Vienna. Okay, so right in the middle of Vienna, you have this place where they have a lot of, build, of nice buildings and all of them are actually uh, all museum like this one is the natural history museum and you have uh, right down the street the ethnology museum old uh, music instrument museum you have all, all kinds of museums so I, I had to choose one and I'm gonna start with the natural history to see if it's interesting so I'm going now Whoa, so many type of rocks. This is crazy. I've done in college a geology course. I've done a few things that I forgot already, but there's no way this was this advanced. So many rocks. Can you imagine this rock being natural? Or this one, this is so natural. <laughs> This is crazy. This is a lot of gold. Okay, this is so gross. They are moving in the bowl. Let's try to see right in. This is disgusting. And those were actual blood ones. So many corals. What I would like to do is go do scuba diving in an exotic place where you can see these in real, not behind the glass. Get out of here! I think every hand dryer should be looking like this one. You just put your hand in and it soaks the water out of your hand. This is amazing. This game table dates from the period of the Roman Empire. Originally, it was incorporated into the street pavements, which means that the game was played on the ground. Look at the top left-hand corner to see the outlet for rainwater. The board itself consists of three rows of 12 circles, separated by three larger shapes. A full rosette in the center, flanked by two half rosettes on either side. What kind of game is it? The ancient Romans knew a number of board games, among them a kind of backgammon called a lyre, literally dice. They probably use this table for a game with dice and pieces. Today, backgammon is played on a board with two rows, but this Roman board boasts three. Literary sources allude to a mythological Trojan source for the game. So here you can see ruins of the Roman Empire which is crazy people are throwing money at it let's go in the Stephen Stone
Okay, this is gonna be it for today. I know I haven't filmed that much. The reason why is because of everything I want to show you. I don't know. Uh, I don't really know the history behind it. So basically, instead of just showing you uh, images without talking, I'm not showing you images. Uh, instead, uh, actually today I did a lot of things. Uh, went to the Stephen's Dome, went to a few museums, went to see the palace of the, the Prince of Liechtenstein. I went also to the restaurant. I met, uh, I met, a tour I met another tourist, uh, an American guy. It was really nice. So basically what I'm gonna say again, uh, just go check on Facebook uh, the, all the pictures. I'm posting all the pictures with a uh, description so you can like so you can kind of follow me. Tomorrow I'll be leaving uh, for Bulgaria. I still don't know if it's gonna be uh, in the morning or the afternoon. But I have to check right now. I'm going down to the lobby to get some internet. Good night. I'll see you. Bye.